Hello everybody, T4 here of Star Gamers here, and welcome to my walkthrough slash playthrough slash um uh, Yeah, this is mainly just a playthrough of Mario Paint, I mean Mario Paint. Um So you may be wondering to yourself, why am I doing an LP of Mario Paint? Well, one, it's a game that I usually like to go back to just to play around in case if I'm really, yeah, I'm bored and I get tired of playing action games or puzzle games or, you know, any of that stuff. Sometimes you just want to chill, chillax, take a break from all that and just mess around, you know, play with the world, you know, use your imagination and all that stuff. So, I'm gonna let the demo run for a bit, just so that, um, yeah, the, so that it will play the, you know, a series of demos for you of what this game can do. Or, at the very least, I'll let it run this one only, and I'll show you the rest of what it all do later. Blah. Excuse me, it's, it's the coffee. I didn't sleep all last night, so... Yeah, that, that's the thing. So, in the demo, it shows you how the application is used. And you got all these tools located at the bottom. And your paint mediums located at the top of your monitor. Or, just in your case, on top of your TV screen. However you're playing it. It's either through your computer, through other means, or you have a copy of the game. And you use the... Super Nintendo mouse to control the game. You cannot use their Super Nintendo gamepad to control the game. Which adds a unique twist to the game in of itself. Um, shoot, let's see. Now, originally, I was going to try to do a Bob Ross impression. And the issue I encountered was... I sounded extremely bored and... I suppose I wasn't in the mindset to do the impression. I did it okay before, but when I was recording it and I checked the footage, two issues I ran into was that the audio from the game side was too loud and that I sounded so monotone and I sounded so bored. Uh, Bob Ross had this S ASMR-esque vocal delivery to which he only has the type of voice for that as weird as it is to say not that i can't pull it off i could pull off an asmr you know impression of bob ross if i could but i thought that you know the whole idea would be forced entirely um now you know, may be wondering that this is all running very slowly and whatnot. Well, first off, this was 1992. This was like, oh my god, I could do this? You know, kind of game. You know, that's only possible on the Super Nintendo. Now, on a console that's only meant for games, this was rather unheard of. It's kind of like if you have a just an ordinary toaster and... Apparently what you could do with a toaster is that you can unlock, you know, unleash Amityville-esque type of horror. You know, it's something that you don't see very often and whatnot. So, I suppose we can get started. Now, alright, each letter is a small little easter egg of its own. M makes him small. The letter A, letter A drops, you know, to the bottom. The letter R spawned this rather random event. But uh, shh. hurry up! It's the game's way of saying, "Hey, I'm loading here." And then when you hit that icon, it makes it look like your game's possessed. I mean, jeez. And this one is, oh shit! Oh no, I knocked out my French book. Secle bleu. Oh no. Oh, it's everywhere. Ah, oh, the shit over the floor, the shit over the wall. 
Oh god. Ugh. Oh my god. Okay, um very sorry of that. You get back on there, you stupid book. Anyways, as I was going to try to say from earlier, the demo started. Great. Wonderful. Now, you hit that letter P icon. I almost lost track of what we were doing. Um, you get this rather nice display where you click the icons, it makes a rather random sound effect. And I'm waiting for the star man from the uh, Super Mario Brothers games, where if you click on it at the right time, as a shooting star, then something amazing will happen. I wish airplanes can smell. Did I just say that if airplanes can smell like birds? <laughs> uh, I haven't slept well. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't feeling too good last night. I just needed to sleep, and even then, I still feel like utter crap. <laughs> but I was like, "Oh shit!" So, if you're wondering, of course, this is not a game. I might have said it before. No, I wanted to click on the ET. ET phone home. There we go. This might take a bit. Ah, oh, Bob Saget. Another way to tell you that the game is loading. All right, so you all know what these are here for. Um, this little icon here is actually for your stamps. You're not, you don't have to technically use it just to do this or that, but... Crap. There we go, got rid of the problem. Anyway, those, the stamp icon is specifically used for the special type of stamps that you can customize, you know, and the stamp um, icon... Uh, uh, I should know the name of that room. I really need to. Um, hmm, tomato. I'm gonna do something with that later. Uh, yeah, these are just for your stamps. Oh yeah, this is from an earlier attempt. I basically made a bunch of coins, or in this case, I made money rain like this. It was glorious. And of course, I created my original fan-made character, Wario. Ugh. Do not steal my character. Soon I will grow a glorious Wario empire. Now I'm gonna make it even more rain than from before. Wario. He's everywhere, man. Ah, shit. Uh. Now. Oh, right. I haven't shown you what this tool is. This is basically your spray paint tool. I should try to spray paint more often. Don't get any weird ideas, folks. I'm not that kind of artist. The only downside is that when you take in your contrast colors here and there and mix it together, it doesn't turn it into the desired color you want. So if you want some purple, the only way you're going to do it is if you go here to get your purple. There we go, there's that purple. Almost kind of reminds me of the bisexual flag. Anyways, um... Here is your eraser icons here. I'm gonna erase my fan character here. And this one is for the smallest eraser. If you wanna make tiny adjustments to it. Or if you wanna make a specific um, 
erasure of you know, your medium or your canvas. Now, oh dear. I'm gonna, each each one of these eraser icons has a unique animation for getting your entire canvas removed. This is one of them. This is called the Beam Me Scotty Eraser. This one is the water boarding technique. Makes it, look, makes it look like your game got broken. Can you imagine playing a Super Nintendo game and it looked like that? It would screw up your perception of how you play the game. This one gets rather pixely. Or your whole canvas gets jumbled up. And I'm not gonna lie, I wish that was like that in painting class. And yes, I was in a painting class in college. We had to learn how to use oil and acrylic. I honestly prefer acrylic over oil. But the benefit of oil is that you can mess with it, you know, within a week. You know, in case if you want to make an adjustment, any adjustments. Acrylic, you only have a limited amount of time. Actually, it's within, say, half an hour to an hour, depending on the lighting and how hot, you know, the room is. So if you want to make a quick adjustment, you gotta do it, you know, as soon as you make the application and you're like, oh crap, I made a mistake. And you just try to get that stuff removed. Anyway. Oh, so tired. This one, I think, is just a pixel blocks. Yeah, this is it. This one just warps it like this. Ugh. Oh wait, I shown that one from earlier. Dang it! So, let's see here. What else do I need to show? Oh yeah, this one is where you can take whatever color you want, even the stamps, and make it your whole entire background. Hey, it's raining men. Hallelujah. This one is your typography. I don't know what's with me this morning. I'm just kind of lost here and there. This is where you select whatever letter of the English alphabet you want, including uh, lowercase letters, your numbers, and even uh, uh, katakana and... I believe it's hiragana. Um, this one just makes it a little bigger and a more stylish. Rather, it has a more natural uh, hand curve um, gesture rather than just the, uh, say, digitized version. Actually, is that the case? Nah, it's more digital-esque, you know, type of typography. Okay. Um, you know, I did take took a typography class online. It wasn't bad. Um, I just gotta look back at the research, you know, and see what terminologies that I've forgotten, you know, to remember. So, let me see here. Let me grab this real quick. And there's something I was gonna do. Oh wait, right, 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 right. Actually, no one was gonna be doing. Um, yeah, that disappeared because I am not in the mood. I'm not, I am not in the mood to manually um, erase all that. Man, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah. Um. Now, in case if you're curious, um, the Super Nintendo mouse didn't have a laser on the bottom. Instead, it had a ball rotation inside of it. Basically, what this meant is that you had a harder time controlling the game because the ball 
gets a little loose at times and you have to make sure you're resting it on a huge plastic pad which I really hated a whole lot as a kid. In fact, it almost broke in half, and it made it a much harder time for me to play the game. And no, duct tape didn't solve the problem either. Anyways, as I was gonna try to do, let's do a, let's do a quick math problem real quick. You can also change the colors of your, uh, of your typography too. So, kids, what is nine times eight? I'll give you some time to think about it, and oh, that's a weird decimal. If you guess 72, then you're wrong, because the real answer is... Your mom. Oh, I apologize. Here, let me erase that mistake for you. There we go. Uh, this one is where you can customize your stamps. And I did one from earlier where you basically load in, say, Mario's head, for example. And you can customize it to make it look like, say, Wario, or anybody else, you know. Ugh. So, we did Wario. And... I'll show this off in a bit. I already got it all customized. Basically, I recolored Mario's head and body to match the color palette of Wario. And if you want to get that all cleared off, um... Huh. Let me try something. Does it delete it? No, it doesn't. Okay. Now, if you're wondering, you can't delete the stamps. You can only try to save over it. That's really about it. Um, let's see. This one is called Animation Land. Now, it's divided into three categories. Um, one is the size. The size located here is that basically it's each frame represents a frame of an animation. Basically, one could be a one walk cycle, the other one could be the second walk cycle, and etc. And basically, it's a comic strip esque type of sequence to which it spans, you know, from different animation forms and whatnot. Yeah, I can't speak today. I am not a morning person, damn it. Oh shit, I just realized it's not after dark. Don't tell Ben. Anyways, what was I gonna say? So, long story short, um. An example I can give you is that if you wanna make an animation, you're gonna have to utilize a series of movements. For example,. Let's say I have a decapitated Mario. Now that's one frame of animation of him walking. Another frame would be him making one step forward. And, and if you want to make it repeat, you can. What you can do is that you grab this specific hand icon, you click on it, and then you paste it here. And you rinse and you repeat this over and over again. There we go. Now, the second, now, wait, wait, wait. So, whatever size you pick, whether it's limited, you wanna go for four, but if you wanna make it a little more complex, you wanna give it at least nine frames. And there's a lot of possibilities that you can do with those type of frames. It could be an explosion, it could be a walk cycle, it could be a ball bouncing. <clears throat> but now we're gonna make a pathway for a little animation test here. And I just realized I don't have a background, or in this case, a scenery. So, let's start walking.
Now your counter here is... Now your counter here basically counts each frame of the animation that you're giving to Mario. Whenever you move, you know, your character icon or whatnot, if it fills up to, to 100, you can't do anymore. And now, we get to the results, which hence the term animation. And what animation is, is that it's a series of movements um, within the frame. That's really what animation is. Now, alternatively, you can take a musical piece, as indicated here. And you can play whatever song you want on there. The only problem is that it's a super limited because it's 1992 technology. What are you really expecting? And you can also change the speed of the animation as well if you please. So I can make it look all sporadic if I want to. He's just freaking out because he lost his head. Now, when you click here, it's supposed to play music in the background, but we haven't played anything or conducted anything yet because we haven't loaded it from before. This one just sets it in a widescreen-esque type of mode. So, let's get out of that. And we're going to go make wonderful music together. So, I don't fully remember what each note does. This one is basically your piano. This one's for your percussions or drums. This one's just Yoshi. This one is, I believe, is a xylophone percussion instrument. This one is your French horn. This one is chip tune. This is just a dog and cat and a pig. I want to say it's an organ. No. It sounds more like an organ of anything. And this is the guitar. Yeah, that's it. No, this is... Oh, it's a bass guitar. And this is the guitar. And this is just a weird baby sound. To which, if you lower the pitch, it sounds like... It sounds like a woman, you know, giving off something rather suggestive. Oh, yeah, I love that morning coffee. Anyway, let's make wonderful sweet music together. So, I will be RB real quick, guys. Okay, then, I'm back. As you can see, I made this wonderful compositional piece. I don't know how it's going to sound because I haven't tested it out before. So, you can change the tempo here or to here. The faster, the, the more the tempo is on this side, the faster it will be. Uh, vice versa, it's going to be a lot slower. So, in the loop option is only for, um, that's only for if you want to repeat that sequence again. And if you want to end your piece super early, you just want to grab this bar and highlight it to here. Um, now, it's been a while since I've been in a music class, but basically, it gives you the number of beats that's located within your compositional piece. So there will be three beats of the sequence per, um, per say, four notes or so much. Again, it's been a super long while since I've done this. So we're going to test this out. I bet it's going to suck. That's just music to my ears. Stop it. Kill it already. Kill the fire. 
Stop it! Okay. I think we're done for this episode. So, tune in next time as we go through more of a short tutorial of Mario Paint and we get to do some more fun stuff. In other words, you get to see me paint, or draw, or animate, etc. See you then. Bye. Go play outside. <laughs>